Hello guys, CryptoCrowns here. Welcome back to another Unity video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your game to fit on different screen sizes. Anyways, if you learned something new and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, comment all your feedback, suggestions, compliments, all that good stuff below, and subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on notifications for future live streams and videos. Anyways, let's hop into it. So here I have set up a canvas with uh, an image, a button, and some text. Um, so I'm going to be using anchors in order to get this to fit on different screen devices. Currently, it won't do it that properly. Okay, so right now, only the background fits on 720p. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix these kind of problems, right? So let's start with the background since that's our main issue here. So as you can tell is that if we change our resolution, the background is, um, or our image here is just in place right here. If we go to free aspect here, you can see that it like stays in place. Okay. So if we go back to our 720p, what we can do here is change this anchor right here in the rec transform components inside our game object. Um, you can change this from the center uh, position to the stretch, uh, the stretch anchor right here. So now this one right here will stretch only from the top. So if we set it to this one, for example, and we change the resolution, you'll see that it only stretches from the width, not its height. So if we change it to this, you can see how it's only uh, stretching to this right here, uh, to the top. And you can see that by looking at this, uh, at its anchor points right here. Okay, so now if we go back, I want it to stretch the entire canvas, right? So what you do here is click on this right here the stretch on both on uh, all directions right here. Now you can see that the anchor points right here are at all four corners, okay? So now if we change the size of this, uh, the resolution of this, or our device, the screen size, I guess, it will now stretch with the canvas right here, okay? So we have problem one solved. I'm gonna make this a little darker. Okay, so now the next issue is that our button and our text are kinda in an awkward position right now. Okay, so for here we want our coins text to be at the top, for example. Okay, so what we do here is that we change the center anchor to the top center right here. So now you can also set stuff to the corner too. Let's I'll show you an example here. So I'm going to create another uh, text by right clicking on canvas, go to UI and text. For example, we can use TM, uh, TMP text. It's the same thing, but just for uh, for an example here. Let's just put like, uh, I don't know, version 1.0. Let's say we want our version to be on the top corner, okay? Um, increase the size of this. So what we can do here is just place it in this corner right here, okay? The corner of our canvas here. Now, the issue here is that if we again change our resolution, it'll be all out of the canvas. We'll be able to see it. See it. So now what we do here is that let's say we want to anchor it to the middle here. Okay, so now it will only be anchored to the left but not the top. So now it will still show up above our canvas if we change the resolution like that. Okay, if we also change it to 4K, it will be lower than what we want it to be. Okay, so now uh, let's go back to our original 2436 by 1125. Now let's anchor it to the top left corner. Okay, so now if we change the resolution, it will move with it. Okay. Now you could obviously um, make things smaller if you want to, because this is probably a little too big. Okay, just for an example though. All right, we have one more thing we need to fix. This is this button right here. So let's say we just have a giant button on the side, I guess. Just for example, it could be a panel, it could be anything. But let's just say we have this on the side. Now, if we anchor this to the side, for the most part, it will work out. Okay, see it looks just fine. However, once we get to the 720p, it looks kind of bad, right? And, and this is obviously not going to work out for us. So now what we can do here is stretch to the right side. Okay, we click this one right here. Okay, so now if we change our resolution to 720p, it now stretches here. We have one more issue, and this is a tricky one. Now this one, if we go back here, let's say we want to keep it in this corner right here. We want to set this to um, stretch right here. We want to stretch on all corners. Now the issue with this one here is that we can become a negative right here. The size is now negative, right? So if we just move it around, you can see that it finally shows up here, but this is negative, so we see that red X, okay? So to fix that, 
we go back here, okay, get rid of the stretch anchoring, we go back to a smaller resolution, and also that's why I like to prioritize for mobile gaming, or mobile dev especially, I like to, pri I like to do this resolution because it's the skinniest resolution possible, so I like to benefit my smaller devices, and then focus on the bigger ones after that. So let's go to 720p for here. Now what we can do here is readjust this button here to what we want. Let's just say we want it here, okay? And we can readjust this text to make it not look not so bad. Okay, so now what we can do here is that we can reapply this stretch anchoring right here. And now when we change our resolution to uh, 2436 by 1125, it'll look like this. Ah, uh, it's still not as good. Okay. I think for this one we might have to do this the, the right anchoring. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Looks a little better. So it's just something you gotta play around with, right? It's not the easiest task. You can also move these right here. So let's say you want it to not come past this coins text. So you can just drag this right here, this knob right here. And you now have a custom um, anchoring system here. So now if we change the resolution, you can see that the, t the button is now uh, bigger. But it's also staying within this boundary here, which is very nice. What we can also do is uh, keep it in this area if you want to. But now things will start looking kind of weird. But that depends on what you do here. So again, you can adjust this knob to whatever you'd like. So let's say you want it even closer. You see, it, it doesn't go past this anchoring, this anchor right here, which is very nice and very helpful, and it'll help you adjust to where you want things to be in the game. All right, so I hope this is helpful. If you learned something new, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, comment all your feedback and all that good stuff below, and if you have any suggestions for future video, well, let me know below, and I'll be sure to consider them. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day or night. Peace.